our Father and our God, we bless you. Open our eyes this morning and bless every life. This year will be a great year. And we will achieve greatly. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You may be seated. This morning, I have a persuasion in my spirit. And I am directed by the Lord to share with you briefly what do you see? That is what I want to share very briefly with you. What do you see? Alright, open your Bible to Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. We will read from verse 1 through to 5. Then from there we will see how God will help us today. What do you see? Oh, glory to Jesus. Ezekiel 37, from verse 1 through to 5. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Verse 2. Then it caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. And he said to me, son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Verse 4. Again, he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Can we read verse 5 together? I want to go. Thus says the Lord. Surely, I will cause bread to enter into you, and you shall live. Many times, people have great desire, great passion to achieve great things in life. In fact, there are times that you have in your mind what you want to become and what you want to achieve as a family, as a person. And you have it so much that you believe so strongly that you can become, you can achieve that which you have desire to achieve. In fact, before some of us enter into the year, you have one great desire in your mind, in your spirit, that excuse me, come what me, I am going to become, I am going to achieve, I am going to have this done in my life. In fact, some people put it in a straight in a in a proper planning and they conclude in their heart that by March, by February, by the end of January, I must have achieved this. And seriously speaking, you are putting everything in place. For you to achieve, for you to become, for you to enter into that which you have in mind of becoming. Suddenly, something came up. Situation warrant and it seems as if those things will not come to pass. Sometimes uh, the circumstances that surround you gives you a hint that what you have planned what you have laid out as what you want to achieve in life will not come to fulfillment. But I have a good news to somebody and I bring a word of encouragement to somebody. It will come to fulfillment. I don't know who you are. You are already getting tired. Sometimes something is happening to you. It's as if you have not even gone far. But that in look 
impossible. I bring a word of a word to you, a word of assurance that you will achieve it. Oh, am I speaking to living so in the in the house? The Lord asked me to say to you that you will achieve it. You will become that which you have written down. You will bring, you see, it will come to manifestation. That which you have seen, that which you have in mind, that which, that which you propose in your heart, that you are going to become, that nothing will stop it. Not even the economy of this nation. Am I speaking to somebody here? Not even the economy of this nation. You will become that which God wants you to be. You will enter into that dimension God wants you to be. I know you. I believe you. I have taught you right that it is good to have plan, and you have plan. I know you have. You had it in mind that 2024 will be a better year than 2023. Then you put your plan into place. You put everything you you have you have put it, and suddenly they just announce cement is. 10,000. Suddenly, they just announced fuel is going to 800. They just announced this. Oh my God, the rise is becoming and unbecoming. They just announced everything is just going skyrocket. Excuse me, tell somebody beside you, I will achieve what I have planned to achieve. This meeting today, don't let anyone close your mouth. I have come to assure you because I heard from the Lord as I wait on him. He said to me, tell them it does not matter what Nigeria is saying. It does not matter what anybody is saying around you. It does not matter what your school is saying. You will achieve that which you have written down. Oh, I tell you, we have not gone far in this year. You are going to become that which you will become. Oh, I don't know who God has sent me to. That thing you have been expecting. And it's as if it's not going to war. I bring a good news to somebody. You will become that thing. That thing will materialize. That thing will materialize. Oh, that thing will materialize. I see manifestation. Because you will become it. I have a good news for you. Don't give up. It's too early to give up. It's too early to give up. Have you seen completed your house? Have you seen bring that car into your garage? Have you seen that baby shouting, crying, and you are saying, oh baby, don't cry. It will come to realization. Have you seen the door of nation open to you? Have you seen it open to you? I, I tell you, it does not matter. The policies of any nation, they can't stop you. Because if you see it, we become it. Because if you, oh my God, I have an Holy Ghost in my spirit saying to me that there is more to you than what is happening around you now. You will become what you, you have written down. You will become what you have in mind. This is the word of the Lord for somebody. Don't let anything pull you down. Don't let anything take that which God has given you away. Only what you need is that you consistently see it. The day you slip off your eyes, then you will not achieve it. Am I communicating to somebody? The day you slip off your eyes, you cannot achieve it. So the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. When you read from verse 1, you will discover that God was telling a Jeremiah that ah, before you were born, I've made you before all this. I have made you a prophet to nation. I have an intention. I have a mind towards you. My mindset towards you is of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. I want to raise you to become. I want to put you in charge. I want you to become that we God was saying all sorts of but there was a statement God said in verse 11 no 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 Jeremiah 1 verse 11 and the Bible says in Jeremiah verse 11 moreover the word of the Lord came to me saying what do you see there put your name there what do you see there 
put your name? Do you have them? Put your name. What do you see there? What is the next thing after your name? What do you? You cannot become what you did not see. So you are a prophet. I have made you a prophet before the world. I have made you to enter into nations. I make you to oh, but it's about what you see. What do you see? What do you see? You have projected the news on newspaper or radio so much that even when you wake up, your BB is high. Please put it as a what do you see? What do you see? There is a dimension we walk in the in in this in this art. It is about what we see. What do you see? Can I pray for somebody here? Whatever is blocking your eyes to see, which that person shouted, Amen. I remove it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is making your eyes to blow, oh my kabushke, oh my sadadia, this is not the dream marriage I have. Oh, please don't cast the dream marriage away. It can come to pass. What did you see? What do you see? And he said, What did he say? I see a branch of a what? Of an eye. It is what you see that God affirmed. You know how I saw that? Look at the next verse. Then the Lord said to me, You have what? Oh, I, I can't hear somebody. You have what? What did you see? What did you see? God will never affirm what you did not see. And what whatever Jeremiah called it, so it is. Jeremiah called it almond what? almond tree and god said you have seen what do you want to call your own hey am i having church members that understand what i'm talking can you see when you are calling your own don't keep quiet shouting what do you call your own what did you say what did you say raise your right hand and shout amen that your neighbor whatever you profess you see that is what you will have As God sent me to people here, yeah? raise your right hand and shout, Amen. What did you see? That which you profess. Can, can I ask a question in the Holy Ghost again? Please, I need few people that understand the manifestation and the workings of the Spirit. If I ask you what you see, don't just keep quiet. I want you to open up your mouth. I want you to shout it. What you see, say it so that it can enter your subconsciousness. That your spirit man will carry it as the spirit, as the candlelight of the Lord. And they will transport it into the presence of the Holy Ghost. And the presence of the Holy Ghost will we we seal it and make it come to fulfillment what do you see what do you see what do you see so i raise my right hand over everyone that can shout amen here everything you confess you see now become it everything you confess you see now become it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give me that scripture, verse 12. Look at what the Bible says in verse 12. He said, You have seen where. Please, if you have Holy Ghost, can you read the next scripture? You see there, one, two, go for I am ready to please touch somebody and say, God is ready. Don't sit with somebody that cannot touch you, say, God is ready. Touch that person, come and now be. God is ready to perform that which He has said about you, to perform that which you have written about you. To oh my God, shout! God is ready. God is able to do just what He says. He will. Do. Hey, it's gonna fulfill every. Oh my God! Hey, don't give up. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. How many of you believe God is able? 
How many of you believe God is terrible? I can't see men and women in this ministry. You believe God is terrible? It does not matter what anybody is saying. It does not matter what anybody is saying. God is terrible. God is terrible. God is terrible. God is terrible. God is able. I may not have houses now, but God is able. I am I'm not sure if I'm going to pass that exam, but God is able. I'm not sure if that work will work, but God is able. I know God is able. God is able to do just what He said He will do. He's God of the was no help of physicians has taken money from her he's a seen no way no road everything is blocked everything could not work again and suddenly jesus came and he cried to jesus and jesus said this woman thou art loose and what is impossible became possible I bring the word of the Lord for somebody here. I decree by mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. What looks impossible, we are a man and woman here. I command possibilities. 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 In the name of Jesus. Possibilities. Possibilities, 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 You won't be stranded, though. He will answer you. He will answer you. My God will answer you. My God will answer you. What is seems impossible? What is seems is possible? How many of you are crying? You are crying silently that with this thing not work, with this thing not happen. How many of you are crying? You are crying silently. But I hear the voice of the Lord. Have you seen it? Do you see? Oh, your future is bright. Your future is bright. It does not matter what you are going through. Your future is secure. Is secure. Your future is secure. Raise your two hands. Raise your two hands. Raise your two hands. I don't know what look impossible. I don't know what look impossible. Do you see possibilities? Church, do you see possibilities? Church, do you see possibilities? The spirit of Yahweh is in this meeting. 
The spirit of Yahweh is in this meeting. Can you raise your voice in tongue now? Can you raise your voice in tongue now? The spirit of Yahweh is in this meeting. Oh, you are afraid. 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 That February is gone. But the Lord said, He's walking things around. He's walking things around. He's walking things around. He's walking things around. The Lord said, He's walking things for your favor. He's walking things for your favor. And I'm not for me, I'm not so many. I'm not for what we are so many. Oh, 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 In a level, I in a You want the candy money? Anybody What you know? I he sees you. He knows you. He sees you. He knows you. Your name is written at the palm of his hand. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. Oh my God. 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 If you can raise it above your head, please do. I want to say that word again to somebody. The Lord will set to you. He sees you. He sees you. He sees you. The Lord will set to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take your seat for a few minutes. What do you see? situation and the circumstances surrounding you is a mirage. It will disappear. Don't allow the real thing to disappear. What do you see? What do you see? The Lord wants me to cause dryness in your life. Lay your right hand upon your head wherever you are sitting. Let your amen be loud and clear. I cause dryness. This amen is not sure. I'm not sure it's from my it's from my church member. I cause dryness. Root of dryness in your life is caused. Root of dryness in your life is caused. Somebody shouting amen from that bar, you will be evergreen. Oh my god, you will be evergreen. You will be evergreen. Evergreen, evergreen, evergreen. Never 
verse 1, Ezekiel chapter 1. The hand of the Lord was upon Ezekiel. And the hand of the Lord was upon a man. Listen to me, people of God. What a contradictory statement. The hand of God was upon a man, and the best place the hand of God can carry that man was a valley of dry bones. Because you are in dry bones does not mean the hand of God is not upon you. Because you are going through some certain things now. It's not, it's not that God is not with you. Excuse me, he is with you. He is with you. He only wants to use his hand to show you how mighty he is. That is why his spirit is upon a man. And he took him through what? The body. The Lord said to the people of Israel, go through this way, through the Red Sea. He never told them that they are going to fight. fight. They are going to see problem. But that he asked them to go through that place does not mean they will be exempted from battles. The hand of God is upon you. Is somebody here with me? Listen to me, brother. Listen to me, sister. That delay is a tactic from God to take you to a better place. It's a tactic. Your time is not his time. When his time comes, no, nothing can stop it. Not report of the doctors. Not nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. I have heard, I have seen, I have touched him. Nothing. Just believe God. And I'm saying to you, it is it. Now is your time. Now is your time. The hand of God was upon this man, and the Lord took him in the midst of the valley. The first place he went was a low place. Where is as if he cannot see what is happening up there. A very terrible place. And right in the valley was dry bones, hopelessness, recklessness. Things that is no longer working. It's as if God will not intervene. It's as if nothing else will work. Brother, I don't know what is happening right now to you. But one thing I know, the hand of God is upon you. I may not understand what you are going through, but I understand one thing, the hand of God is upon you. I know you have been knocking a door over and over. Nothing is happening to that door, but the hand of God is upon you. Oh, how many of you believe the hand of God is upon you here? Do you have that confidence in your spirit that the hand of God is upon you? Irrespective of what you are going through, it doesn't matter the report of doctors. I tell you, even that failure is an assurance that the hand of God is upon you. Oh, do you hear what I just said? That failure is an assurance that the, the hand of God is upon you. Because in our generation, you have turned the hand of God, God with you, to be everything sweet. That is why some people want to get married, they ask us to remove uh, for better for what? Even if we remove for better for better, are you getting me? You will still see worst. No, he, 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 you see, he, life is like that. If you, if, if you are a typical old bad people and you, you can read, you can read, you can, you, you used to sing our hymn, eh? Kosi bi samo se fufuto, eh? Kinyo wambe, in kanturu, bo so woke kere, you will see it totally. So if somebody says, remove anything, it's a lie. If they remove it, you will meet. He's standing, he's always standing. He's always standing. Kuku, let us prepare your wife. That is for better. For us. Eh? Somebody came to me when I was on campus and he was describing me. Eh? The kind of person I want to marry. Fine leg. I don't, it was there I know that I have fine leg. Straight leg. Eh? Whoever know that after two, 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 two years of marriage, the leg are break. Not my leg. Oh. They suffer none of their bones to be broken. They were not my leg. You say the one thing I love in the sea in the sister, straight shintiri leg. Uh you can back home. Don't ban me as it then divide. Shintiri leg. But I saw that 
for the fact that you are going through whatsoever you are going through does not exempt you. Does not say that the presence of God, the hand of God was not with you. Do you remember Joseph, sir? Do you remember Joseph, sir? Do you remember Joseph, sir? Everything, it was like that going down, going down. And the Bible says, and God ah, inside pit and God slavery and God and God was with him. They now carry him inside typical prison. And God, if God was with him through thin and thin, he will be with him in palace. Get safe. You will soon get there. Please, one thing God is asking you this morning. We are about to pray. I want to stop. I just want you to to pray this morning. Listen to me, people of God. Never allow that thing to get out of your eyes. What do you please? Can you help me ask somebody again? What do you see? I can't hear somebody. What do you see? You are not talking. I want you to help me preach to post one person beside you at your right hand side, at your left, in front. And what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Verse 2. The Bible says in verse 2 of Ezekiel 37, please be fast. I'm reading that. And it caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very. Do you see the testimony of the scripture? They were very what? Can I speak to somebody here? Whatever you are dealing with is as if the more you are trying to solve it, the thing is getting harder. They are very... The more you are sorting yourself out, you have fasted, you have prayed over that issue and it's a sin. Not is getting harder. There is a word for you. Look at verse 3. I want us to see verse 3 so that we can pray. The Bible says, and he said to me, Son of man, can this bones live in other words let us test your level of sight can you determine by your sight can you see that what it seems not working can work can you tell us and affirm what is written over there that we have seen that for us in the heavens we know that these bones will live but let us confirm from you do you see what we see until you begin to see the perspective of god listen to me man listen to me sir you might not become what god wants you to be the word perspective will not help you become see and the only vehicle to see what is written about you in heaven is by the Spirit. The only vehicle that will help you see what is written about you, about your situation in heaven, is by what? Is by the Spirit. So I answered, Oh Lord God, you what? It is a statement of policy. Polity. Politician in Boboyan. It's a statement, okay, probably you want to call a diplomat. He just used that because what he saw was very dry. But he does not want to say anyhow to who? To God. So he said, oh God, you are the only one that know. Can I say something to you about this guy? At this point that he said you are the only one that know, he was confused. It's a state of what? Of confusion. I don't know where you are confused, but help is coming. I know you are confused, but I see a brand new app. And hear me, oh, today is what? 25. How many days left for this day to, to be over? Before the end of all this, there will be light. Confusion will disappear. And you will know what to do. Did I have a witness in the church here? Yeah. You will know what to do. Look at the next thing God said. Oh, 
this is where we are going today. And I will release you for, to God to pray. Look at what, can you help me say he read verse 4. Again, he said to me, do what? No, if you have Holy Ghost, please help me shout. Do what? Turn to somebody, face that person, eyeball to eyeball, shout, professor. Oh my God, I can't hear somebody shout, professor. He said, prophesy to these bones and say to them, Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, verse 5, please help me now. Thou says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall what? Hello? If you are not ready to take action, nothing will happen. So I saw that the Lord said, what do you see? But go beyond seeing. Take action. Take what? Take action. It will work. It will not work. It's no longer your own problem. Take what? Oh, can you help me preach now? Take what? Help me shout action. Take what? Don't just see A. Take action to get A. Don't just see building. Take action to go and buy land. Don't just buy land. Take action to lay at least one block. Take action. Raise your two hands and shout action. I want you to raise your two hands and help me shout. I receive grace to take action. Take action. You know the action God said. Professor. I will leave you in five minutes. Sir. If you cannot talk here, something is wrong. If you are going to talk and you are going to prophesy, make sure you are prophesying the word of God. He said, I prophesy as he has said to me. Please, there is, there is a problem. If you, can, if you are seen and you cannot talk it into manifestation, you cannot become. If you like it with me, jump to your feet wherever you are. I don't let the voice of anybody overshadow your own. Sister, I like you to prophesy. What do you see? <laughs> prophesy. Raise your two hands. I leave you with God. Please don't stay with somebody that cannot talk here. It is not a matter of silence. The Bible says, prophesy to these dry bones. Prophesy to these dry bones. What do you want to say? Oh, prophesy. Yes, open your mouth and prophesy. It is not true. It is not doing. It is saying it loud. I see myself in a higher dimension of grace. I see, oh, professor. 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 Say it. Say it. Hey, hey, hey. You are not helping me. I need good sound. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Call them those things that were not as though they were. You call them those things that were not as though they were. Say it, say it. You have to take action. I know you are tired, but take action. Mommy, take action. Call them by name. Call them by name. Call them by name. Call them by name. Call them by name.
I wish somebody will pray. Grandma, pray. Grandpa, pray. Please pray. Don't be a spectator here. People of God, pray. What has God said about you? Oro resiwa. Godi lola. Professor, Professor, drive on, we leave. Drive on, we leave. Drive on, we leave. Drive on, we leave. No bless you, sir. Drive on, we leave. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. People are the overflow. Pray. If I receive you, go to Lola. Don't let, don't say negative, but what you are expecting. 